Four people have been killed on the N11 near Ladysmith in northern KwaZulu-Natal in a head-on collision between a light motor vehicle and a truck. Provincial traffic spokesperson Kwanele Ngalane says officials are investigating the cause of the accident. And there's currently obstruction on the road, uh, which is going, the recovery is going to take uh, quite some time uh, for about three hours. Therefore, we appeal to all motorists who are driving around the N11 to be cautious, but we also want to send our condolences to the families of those who lost their lives. Uh, we are saying we have performed very well as the province during the Easter holidays, but just soon after, we are experiencing worse accidents. The Gauteng Health Department will be paying 1.5 billion rand over the next week to clear debts owed to service providers. Spokesperson Simon Zwane says over 200 million rand will go towards paying providers that are owed less than 1 million rand each. Service providers that were owed millions of rands by the Provincial Health Department threatened to withdraw their services due to non-payment. The national government had to intervene late last year. Zwane says over 11 billion rand has already been paid to suppliers. He says they are committed to paying off outstanding debt by the end of June this year. 870 million rand of the money will go towards payment of medicines and medical supplies and will also be prioritizing NGOs, SMMEs and other small companies, more than 2,400 of them. They will get about 200 million of that money. This is according to the plan that we had announced earlier that in April we will be paying all debts that are less than 1 million rand. And we are now in the second phase of to, to try and clear our accruals. South Africa is hosting a meeting of the African Peer Review Mechanism Focal Points. The peer review mechanism is a mutually agreed program by African countries to promote, reinforce and improve high standards of governance. Public Service Administration Minister Roy Padiachi says the meeting will investigate the instruments utilized by the APRM to facilitate internal dialogue in society. The free media, the question of anti-corruption and the question of ensuring that there is ethics both in public and private life. This year we celebrate 10 years of this particular mechanism and next year there will be quite a massive program to rejuvenate the processes in all our African societies. And so we're not necessarily focusing specifically now on the South African question. That will be an internal process that we will continue to develop with our stakeholders in South Africa in the coming months. In other news, the Free State Department of Human Settlement has set aside almost 1 billion rands to complete all RDP houses in the province, which were left unfinished by contractors for various reasons. MEC Olim Lamleli says more money will be allocated towards the completion of the projects in the next financial year. Lamleli has stressed that no new applications for RDP houses will be accepted by the department for the next two financial years. He says the department first wants to ascertain the number of people that are supposed to be beneficiaries. I have already collected information from other municipalities, but I don't have one size fits all approach. I see that here I'm going to utilize this approach. In other times I'm sending the volunteers to go and verify so that I have different approaches. And other side I've got the reports from municipalities and we verify that that information is correct. Thereafter it's not going to be long then we sit down and say these are the houses that have been reported. I compare with the statistics that the department have and say here we are.